Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the bomber, and as you guys can see, it is actually looking pretty good. I would actually say that this thing is actually one of my best builds so far, and uh, I think it is actually looking pretty sick. Now with that being said, we still need an actual, um, a cockpit. We need a cockpit. We need to actually be able to get into here, and I'm thinking that it's going to be a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a squeeze to get two pilot seats in there, so we might have to go with one. Um, but we'll see, so we'll try and do that, and then, uh, yeah, we'll figure out other things from there. Uh, somebody did mention that maybe we should have a, uh, like a door, so we can actually get down into the, uh, the landing gear bay. That does make sense. I think I actually like that as an idea. Uh, we might even do it from here, because, yeah, that would work. So maybe a, a little hatch right there would be good. Uh, with that being said, everything else back here is actually working out fine. Uh, we need to add ropes to these, so that we actually have rope to attach to, which would be awesome. Uh, and yeah, that is, that is good. So today we'll work on the cockpit, hopefully put in at least one pilot seat, if not two, and we'll see what happens from there. Let's get on with it. Remember, if you guys are actually enjoying the build series, uh, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like on this video if you guys enjoy this one. Uh, it helps me out quite a lot, actually. So if we're going to, like, reach, I don't know, let's say 350 likes uh, on this one, that would be awesome. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so here we are. Um, putting the pilot seat in is going to be a bit of an issue, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't actually know what height we should be aiming for with this, because... Uh, Honestly, heights usually change. I don't know how to explain it, but the height usually changes. Whoa, we don't want to do that. Um, I don't know how to explain what I'm what I'm saying, but uh, let me just do this. Right, so pilot seat. I'll show you. P pivot. Okay, no pilot seat. Let's do this. So we need one of these, and honestly, as you guys can see right there, it obviously won't fit too, unless we put them back here. Which in that case, we'd have to delete like this and this. And put a pilot seat right there, which obviously doesn't fit. Uh, and then the pilot seat would actually have to go all the way back here. And that's just way too far back. Because uh, we can't see out. So, problems. Yeah, big problems. It is actually quite a skinny plane, to be totally honest with you guys. So, um, that's a bit of an issue, honestly. The, the skinniness of the plane is a bit of an issue. But if we only put this on one side and we only have one pilot, then it makes it things a little bit easier. Uh, we'll be able to see outside and stuff, and everything will work out for us, and that'll be excellent. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and put in a floor, and see if we can actually have it a little bit higher. Because the higher it is, the better, technically, so... Yeah, a high seat back there would actually not be too bad, to be honest. So, let's delete this. We'll put a, uh, a seat thing in here, a floor, there we go. And we'll put that as far forward as we can, excellent. And we'll leave that pretty much as is, to be honest. So, put that right there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and fill this in a little bit more. And we'll actually delete these two. Get ourselves some breakers. Uh, and these will act as um, foot pedals. There we go. So one there and one there. All right. Awesome. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. So then we're actually going to go ahead and fill this in like so. We're going to do this like so as well. And that is awesome. We'll put our dials and stuff on here. Um, maybe some stuff on the side as well, which would be excellent. And, yeah, so far so good. This is going to work out. Okay, so now that we've actually got that in then, let's go ahead and run forwards and see if we can actually get into that seat and see what it looks like from inside. So jump inside, there we go, awesome. Jump up here, run forwards, and yeah, we can see out. Excellent. Yeah, so as I mentioned, it is a very skinny plane, so having two seats next to each other really isn't possible. Uh, not in the place that I would want them, so that's okay. We can have a passenger seat here that folds upwards, um, or actually just folds down from the wall. That would work, but there would be no point in doing that, because this plane's so big, we don't need an extra seat next to the pilot. So, yeah. Okie dokie, with that being said, uh, I would actually like to figure out what we can do with this little section right here. Obviously, being able to get to that bit out there would be awesome. Uh, it's just, I'm not sure it's actually possible. Um, I would like a hatch in this door, actually. So, maybe if we delete these... Get ourselves an actual pivot. Yeah, like this one. There we go, very good. Uh, and we can actually legitimately just put a door on there. So do this. And this. And we should be able to have a door. Opens up this way. And it should be good. In fact, we're going to have a bit of an issue with that, but it's fine. In fact, delete the top end. That's okay. And just fill this in like this. There we go, excellent. So it's a little door. Uh, and if the camera gets broken on the front, or the pivot for the camera gets broken on the front, we can open up this door and fix it. That's all we need, so we'll do it. 
Again though, this is going to need a switch box, so let's go ahead and uh, firstly get a button. There we go, we're going to get a button, and we're going to whack that on there like so. Excellent. And honestly, that's going to go into a switch box. Which is then going to control the thingamabobby. So put that up there. This is going to be our switch box for the plane, for the door. Uh, and then essentially, this goes to there. This goes to there. This presses on as one, and that should be good. Let's go test it, see if it works. Alright, see if it, we'll see what it looks like from the front to begin with. You can't really see in there anyway, so it's probably okay. Uh, let's get up here. There we go. Excellent. Open up the door. Fix the camera. Close the door again. Excellent. Yeah, no, that works. Nice. Okie dokie. So what I want to do is I kind of want to make this area look a little bit nicer in terms of how it does actually look. So we're going to do things like this, and that should be good. Yeah. So now when we walk in here, it won't look so weird, uh, which is, of course, brilliant. Good. Uh, there are other things that we should actually put in there, but we don't need to just yet. Uh, we're also going to do this, because uh, I think it works. And this as well, because again, I think it works. And then if we put this piece there, maybe? No, that looks weird. Put a block there, and honestly, that looks alright. That looks good. Right, the seat is going to be painted the right colour, which is going to be this. Actually, no, it's going to be dark. It's going to be that colour. Good. Uh, we need to paint the rest of these things, so maybe this will be like so. We'll have the floor be the same colour as everything else, the rest of the floors. There we go, excelente. And that's pretty good. In fact, that piece can stay that colour. Good, nice. Uh, with that being said, we're actually going to go ahead and do this. Around the edges of there, and that actually looks pretty good. Nice. We'll leave this as is, and that's fine. Good, I like it. Uh, we need to paint this piece, like so, paint that piece like so as well. Obviously, we've still got this issue, which is annoying, but that's okay. Uh, and somebody said that we should have a door between the, the pilots, which there is only one, and the rest of the plane. With that being said, uh, door. Do we actually have a door that would fit? Hinged door. Is this tall enough? It is tall enough if we delete this. But we can't. We'd need to move it backwards one, which means it would actually have to go there. Which is fine. We can do that. So it is going to be a hinged door, which is strange, but we can do it. Uh, actually, no, it won't. Delete these. Delete this. Oh, no, we can't. We can't delete any further. That's sad. Okay, we can do a sliding door instead. Uh, oh, no, we can't actually fit a sliding door in. It's going to have to be one of those. It's going to be one of these. Okay. Let's put it right there. It's a door to the middle, which is fine. Excellent. Delete that. Delete that. Put this in. And do the same on the other side. So delete this. Build this in. As seen. There we go. Good. And then, honestly, we actually need to do the rest of this as well. On the bottom. Because for some reason, that's not done. It's not done on this side. There we go. Excellent. Nice. This is looking good. This is looking real nice. All right. Okay. So, behind the stairs as well, we're going to paint this color. We're actually going to paint the stairs themselves this color. And we're going to do the edges of the stairs too. Good. We'll paint all of that right there. All of that as well. And that's all fine. Nice. I'm liking this. This is actually looking pretty good to me. Yeah. Okay, so dials and stuff. We need to go ahead and put some dials in. We can actually go with um, this dial if we want to. Honestly, we can actually get pretty much everything we need on this one dial. Maybe we'll actually have three of these. Alright, two of these there. We can't delete that one. That's okay. So that'll go there and there. Uh, we're going to paint the whole front to this as well. Okay, good. Uh, and essentially, one of them is going to be speed, because that's important. And then one of them is going to be altitude. Okay, so those are the most important ones, and they're going to be the big dials. We'll also use a cluster dial right here. Uh, I think it's called an instrument panel. And that will actually go right there, obviously the right way up. And there we go. That'll have all of the extra information that we need on it, hopefully. Alright, so with that being said, uh, realistically we also need a artificial horizon and stuff like that in here. So what I'm thinking is you delete this, we have the artificial horizon in between our legs, which is weird, I know, but let's do it. So that goes in there like that, excellent, and then we figure out the rest of it as well. So uh, a clock would work, uh, anything else that we need uh, would, would be good in there too. A compass ball, probably a good idea. So I actually had the compass ball here, pointing upwards. Okay, so we got a compass ball right there, so we know where we're going. Um, we've also got the artificial horizon as well, so we know what to look for. 
well, how, how level we are. Uh, the instrument panel will actually have our fuel, our battery, uh, actually two fuels, because we got two fuel tanks, and our battery. In fact, we got three fuel tanks. I just haven't used one of them yet. Okay, three fuel and a battery will go on there. Okay, that's good. That'll work. Nice. We also actually have this little area behind uh, to do things with, and I'm actually thinking, well, the door opens this way, right? So that's pretty weird uh, in itself. If we can actually have a bit of a seat there, that'd be excellent. But unfortunately, I think this is actually just wasted space. We can have, like, a parachute in there, maybe. Parachute is probably a good shout. Um, and stuff like that. So parachute's going to go in. Right there, we'll just have one, since there's only one pilot. And we'll put it right there. All right, paint the actual parachute red. And that's cool. Good. Yeah. I'm actually really liking this. The cockpit so far actually looks pretty good. Nice. I'm going to grab a... Um, I'm actually going to grab a microcontroller off the workshop because it's easier than making one uh, for doing this. So let me do that. Okay, so after restarting my game, we now have instrument panel with dials and now we have instrument panel with dials. Wait, what? No, this isn't... Okay, right. I think this is the one. Okay, good. So uh, let's go ahead and just whack this in here. It doesn't matter where, really. We can actually put it in the fuel tank. That's probably fine. Uh, well, in fact, put it in the fuel tank. Excellent. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll put channel 1 on way. Okay, so channel 1... I need to remember how these even work. <laughs> channel 1 is going to be fuel. Okay, so where is channel 1? Let's have a little look. Uh, fuel in the right wing. Fuel in the right wing is going to be channel 1. Okay. Fuel in the left wing is channel 2. Okie dokie. Channel 3 is going to be fuel in the middle. And then channel 4 is going to be the battery, which we don't currently have a battery, which is funny. Uh, but yeah, battery. There we go. Go ahead and put that directly in the back. And we can actually just have two batteries right there. And attach this directly onto it. And we should be good. Bam. There we go. Excellent. So, uh, battery, uh, fuel, fuel, fuel. Okay, good. We're good. This is awesome. Okay, so now we actually connect this up with here. And we should be good, I think. So, instrument panel. Uh, channel 1 is, uh, right, right, fuel tank, right fuel tank, okay, good, um, then we'll have left, fuel tank, then we've got the middle fuel tank, Re reserve fuel, reserve fuel, and then we've got battery, battery, there we go, alright, excellent, so that is all in, um, so we got instrument panel 1, then we've got channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. And then I think that's all right. So let's go see if that even works. Do -do 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 all right, here we go. Inside, get in the pilot seat. So fuel, fuel, fuel. Okay, excellent. Yes, it all works. We got our altitude, we got our speed. Let's go ahead and connect those up. We also need some lights in this thing. We also need lights on the outside too, but we'll do that later. Um, that's okay. So... We need an altimeter first, so let's go ahead and grab one of those. And we will actually just attach it right to here. I think that's probably fine, so there we go. Altimeter is going to go right there. We'll connect that directly up to altitude. And then our speed is going to go in a speedo. And we'll be good. Okay, so linear speed sensor. Let's go ahead and put this in here. That's fine. And attach that directly to our speedo. There we go, excellent. And we should be good. Nice! That's sick. That's really good. Okie dokie. So with that being said, I kind of feel like we need a throttle lever for the actual engines. Uh, and then the seat will actually control the spoiler. So when, when we are flying, you won't turn the engines off. You'll just put the spoiler away so that it um, doesn't provide us any thrust anymore, essentially. So hopefully we can actually do that soon. We won't do that yet, though. I want to add a light to this room so that I can actually see what's going on. Uh, we're going to put it directly behind the pilot. That's okay. And honestly, we're going to put a button in the roof for it too. Uh, button. There we go. Okay, toggle button is going to go up there, but it's going to be this color. And attach that directly to there. Good. Give them electricity. Doesn't really matter in this situation. Uh, and that should be good. Spawn it in. Let's go see uh, how that works, shall we? All right. Run up the stairs. Get through here. Close the door. Excellent, sit in the little seat. Actually, no, wait, don't. Do that first. 
There we go. And yeah, we've got a little bit of light in here. That's excellent. We can still get around the front to the camera, and that's excellent too. And that is that is awesome. Nice. Oh, this is cool. It's a very like the minimalistic cockpit. There's really nothing going on in here. We got the compass ball. We got the artificial horizon. We got speed. Got altitude. Got all of our fuel tanks and our battery. Uh, we've also got the windows on the roof, which is pretty cool to see out of. I'm actually really happy with this. This is good. The other thing that I want is a monitor right here that actually shows us what the camera on the front is seeing. Um, yeah, I want to do that. Okay, so we're going to get a monitor. Let's do it. Monitor. And it's going to be a 2x2. Two two. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and put it in there correctly. So it's going to go... Actually, it'll go there. Oh, no, it can't. Okay, it has to go here. That's fine. Go ahead and whack that in there like that. Put a little bit of this on the top. Good. We'll need a button to turn this on. Button. There we go. And that can go in there. The right color. Let's change it to this. Good. And that'll turn that on. Nice. Okay, so the video is going to come from there. Uh, that needs changing too, because it actually needs to be able to be pointed down. So we'll do that. Uh, we need a number. And essentially it's going to be 0.25. Um, so that it points down automatically. We won't be able to control it, but that's okay. So attach it to there. Have this be 0.25 and spawn it in again. Let's see what it does. Hopefully it angles down and not upwards, because if it angles upwards, that's annoying. Oh, actually, it's going to be 0.5. We want it to point further down. Further down. Let's do it. 0.5. There we go. Excellent. Let's have a little look at it again and see what we're doing. Yeah, there we go. And we need to be able to see it on the camera, so let's get inside. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Turn this on, and there we go. Looks a bit weird. Can't really see out of these windows, but you get the gist of what I what I wanted to see. So that's good. That is actually good. Nice. All right. I'm actually really pleased with this this room. It's nice. It works. All right. So we're gonna put a little bit more gear into this. Uh, essentially, we're just gonna get something like I don't know first aid kits uh, because they're kind of important. Uh, so we'll actually put one of those right there. We need a fire extinguisher, so we'll actually get one of those and put it in as well directly underneath that. And realistically, that's pretty much the only thing that we need in here, except we do actually need a oxygen mask is what I want. Ox, oxygen um, mask. There we go. We'll actually put one of these in as well, uh, purely because I, I feel like we might eventually need one. So we will actually, we'll try for, for using those. Uh, excellent. Right. Paint all of the sides of this so that it sort of fits in a little bit. And that is epic. That is actually really, really cool. Um, if there's anything else that I should put in here, maybe a flare. We'll put in two flares. There we go, two flares, just in case we need them. Uh, and that's all good. Nice. All right, epic. So I think I should actually leave this uh, cockpit pretty much as is. If you guys have any ideas on what else I should add or could add to this, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I'll be interested to see what you guys say. But uh, I actually really like it as it stands. I am going to change the color of the outside just for fun, because I think it will be fun, uh, to yellow. Oh, wow. Maybe not yellow. <laughs> not yellow. This? Oh, that's really blue. Brown. Nah, that's weird. Green again? Nah. Dark green? Nope. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to have have a this color plain. It doesn't really change it that much, but there you go. Nice. Awesome. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching so far. If you guys like this video, please leave a like in it down below. It'll help me out massively. Um, and yeah, if not, let me know in the comments down below what I should change. Um, also, just as a side note, if you guys have any ideas on what I could actually put in here, let me know. Because I, I was thinking like radar, um, having an actual bomber position as well. Um... As well as that, I was thinking, if we have guns, there'd be a remote control from about this, like, inside Ikea somewhere. So, that would work out too, but, um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, and I'll see what I can do. Also, I'm gonna paint this, because it needs painting. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time, goodbye.